If I battled a zombie horde here, I'd have to deal with all these guys and the horde. Oh, crap, what the hell? Oh, what is going on? Dude, I almost died right there. What the hell? Hey, welcome back, everybody. The Accidental Survivor here. And we are back with another episode of Survive the Nights. And let me let me place that cooking pot down. I loaded in. It's not quite morning time. I need to freaking eat so I don't lose calories. Okay, I want to make sure I got that last bit of food in there because it's gonna get dark or it's gonna get light out. And uh, if I'm lucky, since the horde's not gonna be messing with me since it's after six uh, six or seven a.m., I'll get a health boost. Because uh, I was able to eat all those calories really quick. I didn't have to cook the pot. The pot, the food in the pot was already cooked. It was just cold. So that that will work also. As long as it's cooked, you can eat it without getting sick. Um, I usually just cook it because that's, uh, you know, what I do. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of chill out here for a minute. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, I kind of want to go down. There's a, not a farmhouse, but um, I want to check one of these houses out down here. To see if it would be good for a horde base. And I have an idea in mind. And uh, I'm just waiting for it to get a little bit lighter. But I, I just got tired of waiting for the server. You know, for, for morning time to roll in. So I was like, ah, screw it. The horde ain't coming at me right now. Let's see how much space. I got 93 pounds. It is... Uh, yeah, it's 7 a.m. But the horde's not coming at me right now. They're not going to come at me this time in the morning. It's starting to get a little bit lighter. Let's go ahead and get in the vehicle. How much gas do I have in here? Let's add a little bit. We're going to roll over here to these uh, houses. Crap. And this should let me know once the, you know, once 8 o'clock rolls around, if I'm going to actually get a health boost. Even though I didn't spend the night, I logged in right before morning. So, uh... Gave me a chance to eat really quick. Yeah, not not these houses here. Damn, dude. Let's let's go down this way. It's the bigger houses, the two-story ones. That's what I'm looking for. Let me let me slow down a little bit because I want to make sure where I'm at in the map. Okay, okay, in that cul-de-sac area coming up here. I think I know where I'm at. Dude, calm yourself down. We're going to go here to the right. Okay. <laughs> it looked like the zombie was walking down the sidewalk and then he stopped at the intersection. Okay, these, these two-story houses are kind of what I want to look... I want to look inside of one. I'm not necessarily going to pick one of these as my base. Especially not with all these freaking zombies around. Oh, I gotta be careful. I'm gonna end up in the water. Let's get the hell out of here. I just want to get out and check the vehicle out. The problem is there's so many zombies. I can't get out of the freaking vehicle. Let's go over here. Alright, we're gonna stop here. I just, I can't get any closer to these guys without them... Did it say day four? I didn't get a health boost, did I? What time is it? Oh, I did not get it. I didn't get a health loss, but I didn't get a boost. Okay, no problem. Let's get uh, my new shotgun out. I got 111 rounds for it. Let's take a look over here. It's this kind of house is what I want to look at. Oh! Did not realize he was right there. Come on, close the door. Dude, close the door. Yeah, this is the style of house that I'm, uh... 
They must have been upstairs. Come here. I know they're coming down the stairs at me. Man, that's so freaking loud. And my headphones. <laughs> it's like I, fire, I pull that trigger and it's like, damn. Okay. Uh, of course, you know, I got to look around because there could be some stuff in here I might want. Uh, as I saw the jerry can, I'm going to, um, I'm going to take that. Let's see how much gas is in that thing. Let's see. Zero. Let's drop that. Oh, that was the one that I had. The one I just found has got 11. So there we go. That's a nice exchange. Those are 45 rounds. They are. Now, the reason I want to check out this farmhouse, look at all this stuff. And I thought I saw a lock on there. And I was like, damn, somebody been, somebody's been by here. Uh, this is the type of house that I want to fight the horde in. Uh, the problem is at the end of the window, I think I can, I think if I bust that window down, um, and let's use a, a gun like this. There we go. I think if I crouch down. What the hell's a crouch button? Dude, there we go. Okay, can I get out here? I can. Okay, this is my plan. So I want to fight the horde in this type of house. They cannot get me from this way. They may be able to come out the windows here, but if I put barricades and stuff in there, I can literally stand here at the end of the hallway, keep crouched down, put some barricades and stuff here, and then blast them. And if I cannot retreat, if I cannot get out of here... What is that in the ceiling? Is that like a... It's like an attic. I never noticed that before. Uh, and if I can't get out... If I can't survive um i can just jump off the roof and run so because that was my biggest fear about fighting in these type of houses is not being able to get uh there we go get through there man come on is not being able to get out you know not having a backup oh, look at all the stuff in here i got batteries i got ammo there's a lock kit i don't need that at the moment I mean, I could literally have stuff at the top of the stairs, stand here and, you know, shoot, shoot, shoot. And then if they start getting too close, I can run out the window. Even in this window, I could have smashed like this out and then like, oh, crap. And, and then, uh, you know, maybe had barricade right here. Have this door. There's not even a door on that door. You know, like I, I, if I found a place like this, uh, you know what would be a good one, too? Uh, the houses that are... Um, on the beach and I'll show you what I mean but it's gonna take us a while to get there we're not anywhere close to uh, to that stuff but we're gonna head that way damn it's too bad I didn't uh, I didn't get a health boost that would have helped out oh what the hell got my uh, silencer on here that I our suppressor that I picked up from the police station uh, we do have those key cards let's check out this this house right here real quick Damn. This thing needs to be clean, too. Yeah, there's one sound I like to run it fast. I just don't want to be trapped in there. Where the hell are they at? They coming down the stairs all <laughs> look how slow she's going. Come here. Some dirty rags. I got a headlamp. Fan belt. Don't need any of that stuff. I could have used a radiator. If I had a rate, look another MRE. That's three of them I've collected now. Yeah, I can use those in a pinch too if I don't have enough food. Um, you know, each one is 500 calories. So that's already 1,500 calories worth of, uh, like another battery. I'll need that. That's another 1,500, or, or, that's 1,500 calories that I have in the event that I, uh, don't have any food or can't get it, don't get a chance to get a deer. Okay, let's get back up top. Because what I want to do when I, when I do a horde battle at my base, or at, at a house like this, um, I want to go and, uh, 
you know, board up the windows and stuff like that. I want to make it not hard for them to get in, but I want to put, you know, fire or campfires down that they got to run through, like on the floor, stuff like that. But uh, I'll check this house out real quick. There we go. I want some more 12 gauge. That stuff I want to hold on to. Uh, that's why I'm back. I'm back at the pistol here. Man, I don't have many of these 45 rounds left. Holy crap. Is this 45? It is. 18. Awesome. I was just talking about getting low. Um, okay, let's uh, let's get back to my vehicle. Let's get the hell out of Union Point. This place here is like a death trap. And there's so many zombies in here. And uh, just so much of, of everything that's bad. <laughs> I mean, they got some good houses to search. But what the hell? Oh, it's like somebody limping at me. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Damn. Nine mil rounds. Man, she's like stuck in the cement. Okay. Let me, uh, man, why is my vehicle sinking? Everything's sunk in there. Okay, let me try something real quick. Um, let us, uh, let's put that MRE in the back first. So where's the other MREs that I got? MRE 2. So let's move one of those over. There we go. And uh, I'm not going to use a bandage. But I want to make a cleaning kit. So let's craft a wire spool. And a cleaning kit. And uh, I want to take my Lola and we're going to clean that. Because that, that is really bad right now. 47%. All right, let's get in. Uh, let's get in the vehicle. Let's get the hell out of here. I got uh, 12 fuel, so we're good. And what I kind of want to do is head over here to this coastline. Uh, where? Oh, I'm sorry. It's up here to the north, right here. So we're gonna we're gonna run down this road and try to drive all the way around to get over uh, to get over here. And that's a farmhouse that I used. In like sear the second, what the hell? I say that's a farmhouse that I used in uh, my first or second series of Survive the Nights, and the zombies are not—they're not thick like they are here. You know, I, I'd have if I battled a zombie horde here, I'd have to deal with all these guys and the horde. Oh crap! What the hell? Oh, what is going on? Dude, I almost died right there. What the hell? Where the hell am I? Okay. I got to come up here and get out of this freaking cul-de-sac area. Dude, I don't like that. I almost... Let's get the hell out of here. I really am going to probably die here if I stay. Get out of Union Point. There we go. Okay. All right. We're going to drive down here, and at the next intersection, we're going to turn left. we got to get out of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, speed the video up until I get uh, closer to our destination, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. I want to stop here and get those uh, deer. I just saw a deer right here. Here he is. Okay. Hopefully I can get him without attracting any of these guys' attention anymore. Uh, but I did I did put a suppressor on my... Uh, on my rifle, my hunting rifle. But we're, we're nearly to where I'm going to be going, so it's not too far away. 
Oh, but I just really wanted this guy here. Six deer meat. Okay. I, I, I'm going to need to put him put that in a pot. How much uh, room do I have left in my inventory? I still got plenty of room. I'll, maybe I can find another deer. <laughs> but it's already... Um, it's 2 p.m. We got the horde coming again tonight, which they do every night. But I want to kind of uh, get down to this area and spend the night on top of a uh, container to get another health boost. And uh, let's get past these guys really quick. All right, and uh, yeah, we're gonna make a turn next intersection. We're gonna turn left, and we're gonna go all the way down to the end, and then I'll be back to where I'm really familiar with, because I've done a lot of, a lot of gameplay down in this area over here that I'm going to. Um, here's the cabin. Yeah, see, they these cabins used to be nice and isolated out here. Now they got right next to a freaking car lot. So now it's like <laughs> you can't really go to those cabins anymore like I used to. But uh, and there's a tree in the middle of the road. Zombies all over the place. Damn. All right, let me skip ahead until we get to the end of this road, and I'll see you in a second. All right, we're almost at the end of this road, but I see another deer I want to grab, and he's right over here. I want to fill that cooking pot up. And since there's no zombies around me, I can't get over this freaking barricade. Go, dude. And since there's no zombies around, I might as well take advantage of getting this guy. Or girl. <laughs> Six more deer meat. So I got 12 more raw meat to put in that pot. So I'm going to be good here for a few more days again. Especially since I wait. No, I didn't say I didn't waste 2,000 calories. Because, uh, um, you know, I, I would have taken a health loss when I logged in. Uh, when I logged in when I did. If I had not eaten from the pot there. But like I said, we're almost here at the end of the road. So I'm not going to do any skipping. Uh, ooh. And these guys are all over this road. Okay, we're here. That farmhouse straight ahead. I kind of want to set that up as a horde battle base. But what I got to do right now is get this freaking vehicle away. So they don't blow it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to park this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to park him right over here by these two mailboxes. And it should be safe over here. Now, I'll, I won't leave it here for the horde battle. But while I'm up there on top of that uh, container, it should be fine down here. Uh, and while we're here, let's check out these. Let's get some scrap metal. Let's see if I have any lock kits in my vehicle. Um, I do. Let's go ahead and take one. And uh, we're going to take the... We're going to leave the hammer and saw here for now. Oh, I got more 18 gauge. Good, good. I was worried uh, that the number I had on me was all I had. But yeah, this house right there, we're going to set that up. That used to be uh, my base like several series ago. Like a lot of updates ago. And this is the, ho this is the house I had when I was being raided. And, like, I, I, I would spend hours, you know, when I should have been doing other other episodes of other series, I was like, I got to get back and survive the night. So my base is going to get raided. But I want to come in here. And we're going we're gonna to fix all these windows. Oh, man. Well, I got to check. Dude, calm yourself. I got to check all these. Um, nothing. I got some 308 rounds. Uh, I got to see if this house is, is suited. I think it is. It's suited enough for me to have a base or battle here. Oh. Okay. You're just going to stand there. I'll uh, let's go ahead and shoot you in the head. Another canteen. That's got dirty water. I've been finding a lot of clean water. Oh, man. Let me take this air horn. I make an air horn trap. 
I'll take the three. I'm not going to take any of the, um, I'll take, oh, sardines. <laughs> I'm not a uh, sardine person. I'm going to take this food. I'm going to throw it all into the pot later on. And I'll also take all the ammo. Still haven't found a Clinchester. I'm kind of surprised at that. I used to find those kind of guns all the time. Okay, uh, another pair of pliers. Look at all the screwdrivers. So what I'm going to do is just to get this started here, let's... Uh, do I not have a screwdriver? Hold on. I do have a screwdriver. Oh, I got to put it in my hands. Oh, what did I just do? Okay. Let's, uh, let's put that screwdriver in my hands. There we go. Man, I can't see. This thing is so freaking bright. There we go. Get that lock kit on there. And we'll just do a random. Oh, there we go. Just a random number, and then I can open it up. There we go. And let's uh, put a, let's put a few things over here. We'll move the nails. Um, let's move the prison key cards here for now. Keep them nice and safe. Uh, I'm gonna move the pliers over here too, because I just saw a pair on the ground that I'm gonna pick up. And uh, I only got two wood. I'll need to pick up some wood as well. Uh, let's move that air horn over. Dude, what time of the day is it? Oh, it's 5 p.m. Okay, I got to hurry up. Let's get those pliers. So now I got a spare. Uh, and I wanted to check out upstairs. I want to see if this place is going to be good enough. Let's see, they'll come at me from here. Now, this would be, yeah, this will be good enough because I can use this door. And I can have this open, and I can be out here, because they can't get me right there, but I can have it set up so that I stand here and battle the horde. And uh, if they come at me, I can just run and jump off the end. So, uh, it's either... Oh, look at this. Is this a Clinchester, please? I don't think it is. Double barrel. Damn it. So I don't know, man. I just I, I like the one with that window style, you know, because if I feel like they they would have a hard time getting at me if I'm standing outside and they've got to crawl through the window. I know they can do it, but they're not as gonna be as quick as them running. So uh, we got a few minutes. It's uh it's five. Let's check this house out to see. And I don't need to go inside the house. I'm just gonna run along the back. Uh, that that house there was my base. Uh, I may use that as a base. Um, I may remove that lock from the locker and move everything over here. Uh, if this one has a deck or not. Okay, I don't see a deck on the back of this one. But I could stand on that roof right there. Let's go in here and check this place. Dude. More 12 gauge. What the hell? Where's that coming from? He's upstairs. Come on, slow. Slow mover. Damn. I'm terrible. Now look at all this 12 gauge. Hey. Okay. There was 18 rounds in that box. Another 19 rounds here. Yeah, we may do the horde battle here <clears throat> where they're going to have to run up the stairs. And I'll stand here. No, I won't. <clears throat> I don't like that because I can't shoot down the hallway at them from the window. Motion sensor. Those motion sensors are kind of worthless. All they do is turn on the lights. I'd like to get that motion sensor to work on the fire trap. You know, have a fire trap, and when they pass the motion sensor, it turns it on. That way I don't have to turn it on and leave it on. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. No, that's no good. All right, I don't think this house is going to be that good. What time is it? Uh, 6 p.m. That one's got a deck similar to the other one. Okay, let's get back Let's get back to the container. Um, I'm probably going to speed the video up because I want to spend the night. I do want to get a health boost, but, you know, you don't need to watch me do all that. But uh, I think that I think we're going to battle them right here. 
And I will. what I'll do is I'll board the windows. I'll do all the stuff I need to. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go with it right there. Where the hell is the containers? Yeah, I got to hurry up. <laughs> Let me hurry up and get over here because I got to shoot these guys. They're going to be in my way so I can climb up top. Here they come. Oh, crap. Go, dude. Go. Woo! <laughs> yeah, what you gonna do now? Dude, they're gonna blow that car up. Are they gonna try? Okay, let me go ahead and speed the video up until morning, and I'll see you guys in a little while. back in the morning I did get a health increase so now I've got 140 max health I'm gonna jump down from here take that little bit of gas <laughs> forgot to check that earlier man I, I got it turn my headlamp on until uh, it gets a little bit lighter out oh look at this I got 308 round there did not even see that. I was busy running from those zombies when I first got over here. Okay. So, yeah, I think we're going to set this up as our base. I was worried that I did not park my car far enough away because it was like I was <laughs> I was over here and I was like, I can still see my car. It doesn't look that far away. Oh, crap. I only got four rounds left in this gun. Clean cloth. Yeah, I want to get this car. We're going to move it a little ways uh, closer to that house. Now what? Okay. Yeah, I can look through I look through the scope and I can see the I can see my car and I'm like, "Man, if they blow that up, I haven't had a chance to get the ammo out yet." I'm not worried about the car. I can always replace the car. It's the stuff inside of it that uh, scares me I'm going to lose. <laughs> Because even, like I said, if I die, my car still stays here with all the uh, all the stuff in it. Okay, did I just miss that? I think I did. But that's fine. I don't like going down that driveway anyway because you're kind of limited. So what I want to do is just park the sucker around the back. And it's not going to stay here. Just some place to put it out of the way. Out of sight, out of mind. And, uh, are these guys back in here again? Dude. Okay, I'm out of ammo. I got one. Oh, damn it. Okay, hold on. Let's get, uh, let's get the shotgun out. Damn, dude. Yeah, I'm out of ammo for that, uh, for the Lola. The hell? Oh, they're upstairs. I'll say, damn, man. I just want to see how many shots it was going to take to kill them. All right. So there's my locker. Um, I'm not going to... Well, let's move the nails over. See, I don't like how they, they don't stack. If I take them out, though... See, I don't think... How do you get... The, you're supposed to be able to get these to stack. Let's try that again. 
anyway, they're not stacking. Let me go ahead and wrap the episode up here. I do want to thank you for taking the time to watch. Uh, when I play again next episode, I'm going to be doing stuff like I want to fortify these windows. I'll show you how I'll, I'll be crafting that stuff. So uh, you'll get a little bit of a tutorial if you've not if you're not aware of the crafting and the barricade process here for survive the nights. I'm going to show you how we do that. I'm going to see, I'm going to board up all these windows. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the door super easy. Um, I I'm not even I, I may throw a lock on here. Um, may maybe because they're going to come through the windows anyway. They're going to be busting on that. So I'm going to put in front of the, all the windows. I'm going to be putting spike barricades. I'm going to put a, a fire trap here. Spike barricade, spike barricade with the windows barricaded. I want them to come through the front door, so I'm not going to make it too difficult. And then when they come around here, you know, they're going to deal with another spike barricade or maybe even a fire. And they're going to come up here. There's going to be a spike barricade and a fire. And, uh, and of course, down this hallway is going to be all spike barricades. And I'll be standing up here shooting them as they come around the corner. I won't be able to see too much of what's going on, maybe a little bit through the window. Um, but I'm going to have this board. Oh, let me get that ammo. I'm going to have this boarded up as well. Get that ammo. But, uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing some crafting. There we go, some 45 rounds. Some uh, some base building is what we're going to be doing. So uh, anyway, I do want to thank you for taking the time to watch again. And uh, please stay tuned for the next episode next week. And I'll uh, see you guys later.